Hello and welcome star citizens to the Aegis Reclaimer full guide. The Reclaimer is THE endgame money making ship and just in case you haven't seen this graphics before please check out my what ship should I buy next video. In this video we will prove that it is indeed the best money making machine in the game. We will talk about traps that I run into and we will touch details like what box sizes should you produce. I intended to release the video much earlier, however the learning curve is really steep and I decided to invest a few more days into research and trying out things. So throughout the video you will see some tips and tricks that I discovered in the recent days. But now let's start making some serious space money. In the Reclaimer there are a couple of positions you need to cover. You can do it both solo or multi-crew. In the front of the cockpit on the left side you have the pilot seat, responsible for going from mission to mission. Right next to this you have the claw operator seat, responsible for the actual scrapping process. Left and right here you have two salvage operator seats, which are optional at the moment. In this video I will not use them. The rear elevator will bring you to the salvage processing deck will let you exit the ship and bring you to the cargo hold as well as the salvage hold, which we will see in a minute. The most important place to go is the salvage processing. Here you see the two machines producing our boxes later. Also this room will provide enough space to store our boxes, so we will not have to use the other storage rooms. Here you can drop your boxes to the salvage storage room if you want. I recommend doing this only with a multi-crew, otherwise you would have to go up and down constantly. Cargo room provides some extra space if you need it. I really hope with the next iteration of this ship they will somehow improve the handling, e.g. give you some access from the outside or make the elevator bigger. So the first trap I ran into was when I intended to spawn the ship at Seraphim Station. Reclaimer however is so big that you can only spawn it at a main city Welcome or at Grim Hex. Let me know in the comments systems. if you found other locations sorry, to spawn her. That is an invalid request. You'll please visit us again. I've already covered the basics of salvaging in my Drake Vulture video. Check it out if you have not seen it. Here I have already accepted my mission. Go to the Private Missions tab and look for the Hammerhead Salvage Mission, the Constellation Andromeda Salvage Mission or the Cutlass Black Mission. Of course if we can we like the Hammerhead Mission, but it was not available here so I selected the Constellation. Spoiler alert, the Hammerhead Mission will follow next. Close the distance to the salvage target until you reach just below 50 meters. Then deactivate your engines pressing I and switch to the claw operator seat. Switch on power and press M to deploy the salvage arm. The fracturing will only take a moment. Then click the right mouse button to switch to the disintegration mode. Note that we just got paid 80,000 alpha UAC. For our hammerhead this will be 250,000 alpha UAC. Once we've completed collecting all the salvage materials we can look for the next mission. Bingo! Here finally we have the Hammerhead salvage mission. And good thing is that currently all these missions are around Yela, so we won't even have to go far. Nevertheless, I've exchanged my quantum drive to a better version, which is the Pontus, just to save a bit of spooling time. Again, close the distance carefully until you reach just below 50 meters. Yeah, yeah, carefully. Seems I'm not the most patient person. But once I've reached the hammerhead, I will start the fracturing and disintegration. 
By the way, if you like my videos and want to do me a favor, please leave me a like or a comment and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. So with our salvage buffer filled, we come to the next step. First, I'm looking for a safer space, so I travel to an OM point and out of the trespassing area. Then we come to the process of actually producing boxes. This footage is from the first mission I've ever done on the Reclaimer, so you can see me stumble around looking for the button for the elevator. But anyway, I reach the salvage processing room and I produce my boxes. First we will try the 16 SCU boxes. Activate the automatic eject button for a constant stream of containers. The four corners of the room will provide you with a cargo grid where you can neatly stack the boxes. But as we can see later, there's plenty of room here in the room. We just need to be a bit creative. Four cargo crits plus a bit of extra space left and right will provide enough space for a hammerhead's worth of scrap materials. As I said before, you can drop some boxes through the opening here, however the 16 SCU boxes seem to be too big to neatly fit through the hole. So let's try a smaller version, the 8 
SCU boxes next. I must say I prefer the 8 SCU boxes due to the better handling while providing a constant stream of new boxes, keeping me occupied all the time. I throw the first few boxes through the opening, then I stack the rest on the cargo grids. Spoiler alert, there's a pro tip that I learned after recording this, but we come to this in a second. Apparently it is not possible to snap these boxes in place on top of each other. But nevertheless we have enough of space in this room. Just for science, I try to fit one of the boxes into the elevator, and yes, it's doable. Still, I hope that they will improve the overall handling of the boxes. They are a bit stubborn after all. As promised, there is another trick you can use. See the balcony surrounding this room? We can use this to our advantage and stack some boxes here as well. If you wonder why these boxes keep dancing around, the server was really close to a disconnect. In fact, a few moments later, while I was trying to sell these boxes, I had a 30k. If you're new to the game, 30k is the in-game message you, you will receive upon a server disconnect. Here we go, a whole hammerhead's worth of boxes stacked only on the balcony. And yes, this also works with the big boxes. 16 SCU containers are not a problem at all. As I said before, you cannot land the ship at Seraphim Station, so our place to sell is Grim Hex. Spoiler alert, there's another pro tip that I will show you later, and a better place to sell the boxes. Sometimes pirates and griefers will wait for you at Grimhex, so be careful, it is not a safe zone here. Good thing is, even if you encounter a pirate here, your pre-investment is minimal. You just invest some time, and of course you need to have the reclaimer at all. But apart from this, if you lose your cargo now, you can make it back real quick and easy. You could also go to one of the main cities, such as Orison or Area 18. However, the Reclaimer is such a big ship that it will take you several minutes to go down to the planet and then escape the planet's gravity later. So overall, Grim Hex for me is still the place to go.
to the ASOS vehicle retrieval system. Overall, we earned nearly one and a half million Alpha UEC, and that was me soloing the Reclaimer, and in the end it was really quick. Note that the off-grid boxes are shown incorrectly here. The terminal will show 10 SCU, while in fact it's 80 SCU, which you see on the second screen. I promised you a better place to sell boxes? Well, look no further than Crew L1. Also, her L5 or similar stations have these old landing pads. You cannot store and reclaim the reclaimer here, but it suffices that you touch the platform with your landing gear. Then you can refuel, repair, and even sell your cargo at the admin terminal. Even the prices here are a bit better than Grim Hacks. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please leave me a like and a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much and see you in the verse.